This is a video for how to go about creating a dimension drawing for number 20 in your 20 ISOs project in Fusion 360. So we have opened up number 20, going to drawing from design. We will say OK. We will place our front view with a 1 to 3 scale again. So we will go up to 1 to 3. We'll place our front view. We will say OK. We'll go to projected. Click on our front, go to the top, side isometric view and we'll go ahead and double click on our isometric view we will go to shaded say close let's go to save early this time let's go ahead and say save and we are done with this part so for our 20 iso part we have i call this one the 20 iso turn in i guess um you're going to see that uh up here I have like 19-20. This one is called the 20 ISOs turn in at the end. You know, this is number 20. I can go back and change that name and adjust these as we go. You can always right click and go down to a rename over here. I should probably do that maybe um, once I'm done with this video. But again, what you choose to name it is what the name of the drawing is going to be. You can see that up here at the top. So we only have one center mark to place, and that is going to be over here with the arc in the side view. I'm going to right click and say OK. Let's grab a hold of our dimensions and let's put in our radius dimension for that, and that is 4. So just while we're here, the only other height dimension I'm going to have to place really is just going to be this line over here with this 2 because 4 plus 2 equals 6. We can see how this radius comes right in here to this edge. That's an easy height dimension to go ahead and just add up and we're already done with our heights just based upon this one object alone. So with our depth dimensions we know that we have 4 here for this radius. I can just come in here to dimensions and say you know what's the distance of this line I can drag up and we very easily can tell that our full depth is 4 plus 1 and that's 5. We you do not have to place these full dimensions in every drawing. So in our width dimensions now, we can choose to do a baseline dimension. We can choose to do a lot of different um, methods, but I think we'll go ahead and just choose baseline just for the sake of remembering what baseline dimensioning does. So I am going to go the full width here. and I'm going to kind of drag this out to about here. And when we come to dimensions, we can go down to baseline dimension, and we have to pick for ourselves a base dimension. And I'm going to drag over, and I'm just going to click for every baseline dimension. I'm going to right-click and say OK. Now what I want to do is kind of drag this out of the way, and you want to drag your longest dimension furthest out, and we kind of got to drag them back in. A little bit of a process with this, but if you have a lot of dimensions to do, baseline dimensioning can make things a little bit bit easier to work with. So we can see our baseline dimensions here, you know, 2, 6, and 8. We can tell that this over here is 2. There's no need to place this because 6 from 8 is 2. We have our height, our width, and our depth dimensions. And on our last drawing of the 20 ISOs, we have maybe our easiest drawing with not a ton of features and pretty level as far as how to tell, you know, what the distances are. So you might ask yourself, you know, if do we need to know this ledge to here? We don't necessarily, you know, have to know that from the cut of the from the cut of the arc here as far as how it cuts, but let's go ahead and place it. We're going to go to dimensions and we're going to say from here to here is a distance of 3 to place that ledge. So, you know, on, on, on another look, yes, we do need that dimension. So we have that little ledge coming down here. We have that three. We can't drag, we don't want to drag an extension line through the object, so we can kind of place that on the inside. And that is our final drawing of our 20 ISOs project in Fusion 360.